Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken, and today, guys, I wasn't planning on doing a video like this today, uh, a topic kind of video. I had something else planned, but this came up, and I was like, I gotta talk about this uh, today, so I'm gonna push the other uh, the other video till tomorrow, but we gotta talk about this sale that just happened, and not just this sale, but also like what it means for us as collectors and just how we collect and how it should form our collecting habits going forward. There's a lot that goes into this, but that Sony Pictures Classics 30th Anniversary uh, 11 film 4K collection that came out, that big box set. I think this came out, so I'm trying to see the date when this came out, but I believe it came out the last week of November, if not the last week, but the second to last week. So this thing's only been out for a couple of weeks. It's currently 139 99 on Amazon. And again, depending on when you watch this video, I'm going to put this up today. So I'm trying to get this information out as quickly as possible. But tomorrow, like if you watch this the next day and the day after, um, it could go back up to its original price of like 210 is what I think it was. But uh, anyway, not just the deal we're going to talk about here today, but again, we got a lot of stuff that goes into this that I think that this video will still have value even if the sale um, isn't in effect. So that went on sale today, $139.99. This is a Sony collector set, really nice set. And I'll tell you right now, I took advantage of it. I took advantage of it. I've been telling people on the Physical Media Report, especially when this came out, I was like, this thing will not stay above 200 because it's from Sony. They also did the Columbia Classics editions as well which this thing just came out like at, in, in the middle part of October and it's already down to $71.99 right now. And that's not a Black Friday, Cyber Monday price. I think it went down to that during that sale, but it's still that much right now. It's $71, this set right here. Um, so Sony has a habit, has, has developed a habit of putting out these big box sets and then dropping them significantly in price just two, just three weeks after. So I, a little bit of warning to everybody. We're going to talk about day one purchases and stuff, but when it comes especially to these box sets right here, I would wait two, three weeks after because we're seeing it right now. If you bought this Columbia Classic set day one, you spent 210 bucks. It is now $140. Like that's the difference of $70. That is significant, which is why I really want to dive into this today because it, it is much more significant than say you bought Lost Boys at 24 bucks and then the next week it, it was 21 bucks. That's only $3. Yeah, that could still kind of sting a little bit. That could still kind of make you a little angry. But I imagine the people that bought this set back when it came out the end of November for 210, now seeing it's 140, like that is a huge slap in the face. And again, for us, like it's like, yeah, hell yeah, we're gonna buy this thing at 140. I said my magic price point for it was 160, 170. So I'm damn sure buying it for 140. But this thing right now, like on the flip, on the on the flip side, sorry, this video is gonna be all over the place. Look, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We talk about physical media topics like this, about new 4K Blu-rays and all that kind of stuff. I like to keep you guys up to date on everything that's happening in the world of physical media. Hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button if you haven't already. And I need to know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Even if you weren't planning on getting the Sony picture set, just what's your thoughts on the situation? A set coming out two weeks ago and then dropping in price. It's no like big sale, like Cyber Monday's over, Black Friday's over. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in that comment section below. So this Columbia Classic set, I bought this when it came out at $108 and it's down to 71. So I got burned for 40 bucks by buying this set day one. I could have waited a couple of weeks and or a month or whatever, and it would have went down significantly. So I'm feeling the burn from this, but uh, I mean, with the company of classics like Sony, I feel like they set us all up because that first volume, it sold out and then you couldn't get it. And people were selling it on eBay for four or 500 bucks. And ever since then, like every single one of these, I buy them day one because I'm conditioned to do so because of what happened with that first volume. And I bought the first volume week one as well. Um, so I'm, I'm just afraid that they're going to sell out. But you got to kind of look at the movies in these sets also as well. This one doesn't really have a huge movie that really pops i feel like pops the uh pop culture zeitgeist like there's not a a taxi driver there's not a social network there's not a gandhi there's not a, a lawrence of arabia um in these sets right here like these are classic films for sure and i'm sure a lot of people know them but they're not huge movies and the same thing with the sony pictures set so you got to kind of look at the movies if it doesn't look like a bunch of movies that's really going to pop the fan base the movie loving fan base 
then definitely wait on it because that means that they're going to put out a certain number and they're not going to sell like they want them to. And I think that's what's happening with this, with this Sony Pictures Classic uh, set right here. This did not sell like they were hoping it was going to. And then they got to get rid of some of this stuff. They got to return. They got to make a profit off of this. So very quickly, they're like, hey, let's drop it to 140. Let's, let's get some of this stuff sold out. Uh, let's get some of this stock sold out and make a little bit of our return on, a, on the investment. But 139.99 like that is like $13 per 4K. That is an excellent deal. Even if you're not familiar with a lot of these titles, but there's some great titles in here. Crouching uh, Tiger, Hidden Dragon, The Devil's Backbone, Run Lola Run, SLC Punk, I know a lot of people were interested in, uh, uh, Evolver, uh, which I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. I think it's something else. Still Alice, Call Me By Your Name. Like These are big titles. Cellular Closet, City, the City of the Lost Children, a little bit more under the radar stuff, but it's interesting. It's very interesting uh, what's happening in physical media today, and it's definitely highlighting the fact that we do not need to buy all this stuff like week one when it comes out. Buying day one is becoming extraordinarily uh, risky. It's becoming dangerous, a danger to our wallets right now uh, because we're going out there. We're buying, Think of all the stuff we could be buying if we were waiting uh, for some of this stuff to come out. Like you got not even just this stuff, but like the Lost Boys. I brought that up for a second ago. Um, Poltergeist, like those came out in September. A lot of stuff that came out in October come Black Friday, it's down to 10 bucks. Like you're buying all these 4Ks. There were some incredible deals um, during Black Friday. A lot of stuff that came out like in, in August and in September and October marked down to 10 bucks. And when they came out, they were 30 bucks. So just extraordinary deals uh, during Black Friday. So why are we buying this stuff week one? And even if you're not buying it week one, say you're buying it week three, a lot of times it drops down like two or three bucks just in two weeks time. So Think of the money that you could be saving, money you could be putting towards something else. I'm a little, I'm in a little bit of a because you're probably thinking to yourself, can you buy everything week one? You buy everything. Who are you to talk? You're probably saying that to yourself, and I completely understand that. I'm in a little bit of a different, more unique situation because I do have a channel and I do like to talk about this stuff. And you got to strike when the iron's hot with a lot of these releases. You guys aren't interested in a lot of the 4K releases two, three weeks down the line. So I'm also, I feel a responsibility to you all to get this stuff in, to talk about it. I am getting more fortunate to get, I am getting fortunate enough to receive some review copies and stuff like that. Um, which has been a blessing. It's definitely been a huge help uh, to me, my wallet, and the channel as well to get some of this stuff um, in early. But I feel a responsibility to you all to get this stuff in as soon as I can so I can show it off, so I can review it, so I can let you guys know if it's worth it or not. So I'm in a little bit of a unique position, but not everybody's like that. Not everybody has a channel. Not everybody has a social media presence and account. You're just buying this stuff because you want to watch the movies. You don't have to buy this stuff week one. You may be excited for it, but you can wait. You can wait two, three weeks. So there's always something to watch, guys. Don't tell me that you don't have a backlog of movies that you bought three or four months ago that you don't have to watch because you do. You most certainly do. Unless you're just one of those people that's really good and you watch everything as it comes in and you only buy stuff that you know you're going to watch. There are people like that as well. But you can wait on this stuff. And I'm telling you, like even the Christmas 4Ks that just came out, like they were, I think, like $25.99 when they came out, like Christmas Vacation, Christmas story i look like two weeks later they were down to like 22 23 bucks on amazon groove had them for even cheaper so and definitely pay attention to the groove website as well i try to update you guys on these deals as much as i possibly can but this also also what i want to point out this seems to be an exclusive problem not in all cases we'll talk about that here in a second but the studio releases. So when we're talking about boutiques like Screen Factory, Shout Factory, Aero Video, yes, they do have sales criteria. And yes, they do have sales, but their prices usually aren't going down like day to day, week to week. Like a Screen Factory title that comes out at $27.99 it's probably going to stay there for the majority, uh, at least the majority, the rest of the year, at least until there's like a Shout Factory sale or something. So you don't really have to worry about the boutique titles as much, I feel like, as you do with the studio stuff, because the studio stuff will come out, like Warner Brothers especially, it'll come out at like 25 or 26 or something like that. It'll drop down to like 19 bucks or something, like two or three weeks later, like it's ridiculous. Paramount as well. Paramount, I feel like, drops even lower. So it's the studio stuff you really got to watch and then sony with these box sets it's like i can't imagine like i really can't if you're one of the ones that bought the sony picture set at 210 bucks you're seeing it at 140 right now like how mad are you are you upset let me know i need to know because like i would be upset i'm upset about this one this is like 30 40 bucks 
Um, but let me know again, let me know in the comment section below. That's why I make these videos like this because I want to know what you guys think. But I really think, guys, if we all just collectively show a little bit of patience with this stuff, uh, that we will be rewarded heavily and you'll have all kinds of more money um, in your wallet to put towards maybe some other stuff that you're neglecting in your life that you don't, you don't have to spend everything on physical media. Um, you know, save a buck here and you can get something, maybe take your wife or girlfriend out for a nice dinner with the money that you're saving. And hopefully you're doing that stuff anyway, even buying physical media. Um, you know, buy somebody a present or something. Do something nice or something. Maybe donate to charity or something like that. But um, even boutique labels, though, like have this problem. Like I, I talked about Criterion, but Criterion doesn't go down in price, doesn't fluctuate too much on like Amazon throughout the year. But you have these Criterion sales and you have a lot of the Criterion titles that come out through the year. And we're already conditioned as Criterion fans to know there's a big sale in July. There's a big sale in November with Barnes & Noble, 50% off. So a lot of people already wait, but if you're not waiting on these Criterion titles, like unless it's something that you have to have week one, there's certainly a few of those titles I have to have week one, you know, wait, hold off a little bit. Wait for those Criterion sales. They go down to 20 bucks. Like you can get new 4Ks for 25 bucks in the Criterion sales. But the Kino sales also, guys, Kino Lorber 4Ks, have been coming out about $26, $27, brand new, $27.99. And they do sales four times a year. They do them in the spring, they do them in the winter, they do them in the, in the summertime, they're doing them in the fall. They got one right now. And a lot of the ones that are in the sale right now, the Kino sale right now, are 15 bucks on 4K. They just came out in October, November. Like these are recent Kino Lober 4Ks that just came out for $27.99. They are 15 bucks right now on the sale. I actually took advantage of that. I got like five of the Kino Lorber 4Ks that I hadn't had yet for 50, that I hadn't got yet for 15 bucks. So just extraordinary deals, guys, if you can wait. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this for a second, guys, because I know it's a topic that, um, you know, certainly a lot of people are super excited about this sale. Like I was for sure when I woke up and saw that. And who knows how long it's going to last. Definitely jump on it now if you didn't get it and you had any interest in it at all. But I, it's, it's definitely becoming um, a little concerning a, as a collector and buying stuff day one. Again, it's becoming very risky. And also, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of wonder when it's going to get to the point where people are just kind of fed up with this kind of thing and they just get out of collecting altogether. Like, that's the thing that I always worry about because it just feels like, it feels like they're, I don't think that Sony's intentionally messing with us. I really think that it's based on like how much they sell week one and two, but it just seems, kind of funny to drop it this low this soon like i expected it to go down but not this much not this soon so it does feel like they're 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 messing with us just a little bit um but i don't think it's completely intentional i do think it's just a case of they didn't sell a lot and they got to get rid of some of the stock so they're dropping it way low to get rid of some of the stock stock and at least make some kind of return on their investment for making all of these uh sony pictures classics uh sets right here but uh, definitely interesting, definitely something something interesting to talk about, to think about for sure going forward as a collector. Just how does this shape, how does this form your collecting habits moving forward? Because as collectors, like we have to constantly evolve the way that we are collecting to fit with the times that we're in. And right now, guys, let's face it, we're in the we're in the era, we're in the age of sales. Like physical media, I feel like has never been cheaper. Yes, there's a lot of really expensive boutique items, but physical media on the whole, I feel like just consistently has never been cheaper and never been easier to get a hold of for affordable prices. So, uh, you know, wait guys, and you will be rewarded. So yeah, that's the video guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Leave me your thoughts and comments down below. That's the reason why I make these videos. I want to know your thoughts on this subject in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video, uh, turn on the bell notifications, follow me on all my social media accounts down below, and we'll see you next time.